This is an example of using the smoothing node in Godot. Here I have created a simple scene, a root spatial node, a simple node child, then a rigid body with a red box mesh instance and collision shape. The box will drop due to gravity when I run the scene, however when I press the space bar the box will jump into the air. There is also a floor in Cyan with a mesh instance and static body. The floor will prevent the box from falling off the screen. There is also a camera, a basic world environment, and a light so you can see the shadow of the box. In the project settings, in the physics section I have set the physics tick rate from the default of 60 to a low value of 8 ticks per second to illustrate what is happening. If we run the scene I can bounce the rigid body by pressing the space bar. You will see that the box moves in a jerky fashion, as on most frames the game will display the box in the position calculated at the previous physics tick. The smoothing node solves this problem by instead interpolating the position of the box between the position at the previous and current physics tick. The smoothing node should be added to the scene independently from the rigid body, rather than as a child. In the inspector you can turn on and off interpolation for translation, rotation and scale, choose the coordinate systems, and the interpolation method. You link the smoothing node to the rigid body by making the rigid body the target for the smoothing node, in a similar manner to the operation of an interpolated camera node. Using local coordinate systems for input and output is typically the easiest case, where both the rigid body and the smoothing node are transformed relative to a parent at the origin. Now, instead of hanging the mesh instance off the rigid body directly, we will drag it to hang as a child of the smoothing node. The smoothing node will smoothly follow the rigid body, and the mesh instance is now joined to the smoothing node. If we now run the scene we see the box moves in a nice smooth motion. You can actually also see the wireframe of the physics motion of the rigid body superimposed if you look carefully as I have turned this on in Godot's debug settings. I will now demonstrate switching on and off some of the components for interpolation. Fixed time step interpolation isn't just useful at low tick rates. It can also help to prevent jitter when your monitor refresh rate doesn't match your physics tick rate. It is not however the end of the story as far as jitter is concerned. On desktop computers it is also often useful to incorporate techniques for delta smoothing for the timing values coming from the operating system. I have delta smoothing working in this version of the engine, hopefully it will also be available in some form in the main engine in the future.